Hi there. In this video, we'll take a quick look at what we mean by inventory turnover. And to start with, a reminder of what inventory is. It's otherwise known as stocks. Inventories are those things the business holds in order to enable it to produce as well as to trade. So it's stuff like raw materials and components that might be going into the production process. Goods that are half or part complete, as well as finished goods, goods ready for sale. And inventory turnover is one of the three main financial ratios that we use to assess how efficiently the business is managing its working capital. Don't forget, working capital comprises three main elements, trade receivables, amounts owed by customers. And we look at receivables days there to work out how long on average our customers take to pay. It's also uh, our trade payables, how much credit we take from our suppliers. And payables days is the ratio we, we use to see how long on average it takes us to pay our suppliers. And the third part of working capital is inventory. And inventory turnover, the subject of this video, is about how many times the business replaces its inventory each year, hopefully by turning it into sales. So let's take a look then at inventory turnover. Let's see how we calculate it first of all. Don't forget, in A-level business, you need to remember the formulae. They're not given to you. So in this case, inventory turnover is expressed as a fraction. And it's, def it's calculated as the cost of goods sold in monetary value divided by the average cost of inventories held. And we express that in terms of times. So inventory turnover is times. OK. Let's uh, firstly just remind ourselves where we may get this information if we're not given the information directly. Cost of goods sold comes from the income statement or otherwise known as the profit and loss account. And average inventories, you'll get that from the statement of financial position, more popularly known as the balance sheet. But in most cases, you'll be given the data, maybe as an, extra, an extract from the financial accounts rather than being given a full income statement or balance sheet. OK, let's take a look at a quick calculation to show you how inventory turnover is uh, calculated. And here's a little example. Again, you may wish to pause the video here if you want to have a go at calculating inventory turnover based on this data here. A business has a warehouse it uses to sell building supplies to local house builders. And there is an extract from the financial records of the business. Calculate the inventory turnover for the last 12 months. So if you want to have a go, pause the video. And then let's have a look at how we do it. Well, don't forget, we're looking for the cost of goods sold. And in this case, we're given that £200,000. And we're also looking for the bottom part of the calculation, the average inventories. And again, we're given that information, £40,000. So let's work those numbers through. Inventory turnover is the cost of goods sold divided by the average inventories held expressed as a number of times. In this case, our data suggests cost of goods sold is £200,000. Our average inventories held is £40,000. Therefore, on average, over the year, the business turns its inventory from inventory into cost of goods sold five times. 200 divided by 40,000, sorry, 200,000 divided by 40,000. That's five times each year the inventory is turned over. And that's the inventory turnover number. Now, you may be asked to interpret the inventory turnover statistic. You may be asked to calculate it as well as interpret it. So look out for factors such as a change in the inventory turnover number from one year to another. That's possibly more relevant than just looking at one number on its own. But also compare it with similar businesses if you're able to. Uh, if the number has fallen, if inventory turnover has fallen, that means that we're turning our inventory over slower each year. Now, that might suggest a number of things. There's an example on the screen there, a possible buildup of slow moving or obsolete inventory, which could be a problem for the business. But of course, a fall in inventory turnover might also suggest something more, which is that the business wants to hold more inventory, perhaps in order to enable it to better meet demand as and when it comes through. So a fall in inventory turnover isn't necessarily bad news for the business. And we've mentioned that it's also important to consider in relation to other sectors. So inventory turnover will vary depending on what kind of business we're looking at. A supermarket, you go into your average Tesco's or Sainsbury's, you see lots of inventory in there, but actually on average, a supermarket turns over its inventory between 20 and 25 times a year because there are lots of customers taking inventory out the whole time. 
whereas perhaps a bookshop might expect to have a much lower inventory turnover. But don't forget, we're also looking in our studies at concepts like lean production, and the car manufacturing sector is a good example of that. The idea of lean production is that the inventory, the raw materials and the components arrives on the production line just when it's needed. The whole, whole idea of lean production is to have lower levels of inventory and higher levels of inventory turnover. Okay, hopefully that's useful. That was an overview of and an introduction to inventory turnover.